Hi guys, I thought I'd make this video. This, this is basically going to explain the, the, the first set of uh, Gudal Pin San uh, from the Li Xing uh, lineage. Now, th this got brought up last night in class because we did have uh, a new student last night. Um, he started training in Yip Man lineage 25 years ago. Um, he hasn't trained for the last, I think he said, 10, 15 years. But obviously, um, you know, he, he's quite used to the way that Yip Man, uh, or the Yip Man lineage is taught. Um, I found it a bit difficult actually, you know, coming over to what we was teaching. Uh, even though it's similar, there, there's subtle differences uh, which make a big difference. So I thought I'd basically just explain this because it's, it, it's really emphasised in the first set um, how, how we do things slightly different to, to how you do them in, within Yip Man or other lineages or Wing Chun. Um, most notably, we don't have uh, free hand forms. Uh, we don't have Simlim Tao, we don't have Chum Q, we don't have Bill G. What we do have is 12 individual sets or 12 individual points uh, and we have five additional points as well, so 17 in total. And basically what they are, are are the 17 principles that we work off of. Now from these principles we build up concepts um, and I could go on about the concepts from there as well because uh, including one of these principles is four door three levels. So we have four angles uh, and three levels, you know, uh, high, mid and low. So each of these sets can be, can be performed on each of these um, directions or angles and also at these different levels. So you can see already they're multiplying in, in, their, in their usages and how we can work on these concepts. But I'm going to start off very basically and just explain how we open up our first set and how we use our first set uh, with regards to the differences between the way that we move um, and the way that maybe you move within your lineage. Um, so anyway, here we go. So first of all, um, the way that we open up stance is is different. Um, in typically in Yip Man, uh, on, and quite a lot of other lineages, what they do is they bend the knees, they open their toes first, yeah, and get into stance, and then sink into their stance. Now we do it the other way round. So what we do is, of course, we still bend the knees, but we go heels out first, toes, heels, okay. Now that's how we open up. Now from now, we bring the right hand on top and we come out so, basically this is level. So this is the middle position, okay? Now from now, we bring the hands up to double Wu Sao. So basically seeing the way we do it is, we sink slightly and we rise. From now, we push the Wu Sao out and we come in, okay, into this position. Now, for training purposes, when you first start doing this, you can keep it wrist against wrist, okay? So when you're pushing the Wusso out, you can keep wrist against wrist. Typically though, when we do this, uh, we, we keep a small uh, gap in between. So as we push out, we come back in, yeah? There's a gap also, as you can see, between this. But when we're training, or when we're first learning it, we, we do sometimes get students to, to keep the hands together or the arms connected. That way they can get the right position. So from the beginning, we'll open up, slightly sink, and then we bring right on top of left. We'll rise as we go into the Wu Sao, and then we'll sink as we come back. Rise, sink. Rise, sink. And on the fourth one, we get near enough all the way out, and then we push out, double back fist, and come in. Okay, so that's basically the first set. And as you can see, it's very important that we're sinking and we're rising. Um, this answer later on, so when we start uh, putting more movement into to dynamic, we call it dynamic fluid structure. Okay, so we're not always uh, braced into the floor. Okay, we, we, don't, we don't operate like that. We, we like to be fluid uh, and be able to move from structure um, and then obviously move back into structure at will when we need it. Okay, so I hope that helps and I hope that explains a little bit. Uh, any questions, please ask. If you want me to film it in more depth or if you want more information filmed, I can do that. As I said, in the next couple of weeks, what I'll do is I'll actually film uh, the sets as we go along.